while to get me unloaded, but uh, hey, we do have a reload. I'm going to go up here to uh, West Fargo. I'm going to be picking up a load over there. Either life load or preloaded trailer, one or the other. And then we'll be uh, making our way back home. And it just started drizzling a little bit. Kind of snow mixture, I guess, it looks like. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna go see if we can uh, get this load on or I'm kind of hoping it's going to be a preloaded trailer, but uh, what can you say, right? What can I do? If it's a life load, it's a life load. No matter. As long as we get our load, we can get home today. That's all that really matters, I guess. Just kind of hoping it ain't going to be uh, snowing too much. My wife sent me a picture there this morning where it's been, uh, it had been snowing overnight in uh, Manitoba at Steinbach. The ground was completely covered in white stuff again. That kind of sucks, but what can you do, right? It's that time of the year, it can still snow. That's right, no matter what. It's not, uh, not summer yet. Yeah, well. I'm still having a problem with my truck uh, AC system. I still get a message here on the display here about the climate control unit or something like that not working right. So hopefully uh, my mechanic will have time on Saturday to uh, look at that and hopefully fix it. Hopefully he can get it fixed. Alrighty ladies and gentlemen, we have finally, finally gotten loaded and uh, gotten our paperwork. Now we are finally, finally making our way down uh, home. But look what it uh, has turned into. Snowmageddon. <laughs> That's coming down hard today. Oh yes. Indeed it is. In 1,000 feet, take the freeway entrance well, on I-94. I'm not sure exactly where this lane is up here, but uh, somewhere up here. It's supposed to stay left. All right, yeah, we want to go towards Fargo. We're in West Fargo right now. We just got in our paperwork, and they're saying we're good to go. So we got to get on uh, Interstate 94 and... Uh, Go towards Fargo and then take uh, I-29 North. But yeah, that took forever, man. It's already quarter to four in the afternoon. Took took a long time to get unloaded. Took a long time to get reloaded. Took a long time for them to uh, do all the paperwork. Man, now I'm gonna get home late. I was kind of hoping I could get home early. It's only four hours from up here where I delivered this morning to get home and I've been here all day long and it's four o'clock in the afternoon and we're still just now starting to make our way home it's like wow <laughs> you know but that's the way it goes yeah I talked to the wife and she said it's not snowing at all in Manitoba there's actually sunshine over there but you did say it was getting windy so hopefully uh, for six miles hopefully it, uh, it's only snowing here for a little bit hopefully it's not snowing along uh, a long way up north so we're gonna try and uh, put the hammer down as safely as we can do and uh, we'll get out of here. That's right. Boy, oh boy, this is not looking too good. <laughs> but that's what we got to deal with, I suppose. So 
soon as we get out of Fargo, I guess we'll know how far north it's going to be until uh, we get out of the snow. But it pretty much started out with a little bit of uh, rain there when I was leaving Moorhead. You guys remember that? And then next thing we knew, it was starting to snow. As soon as I started backing into the dock, it started snowing. Like, almost instantly. And it's been big flakes ever since. Just coming down hard. Super hard. <laughs> hey, I don't know. We're not probably not going to have much of a day today with videoing, but uh, we're going to attempt. We're going to attempt to see if we can show you something. But yeah, I was kind of hoping this was going to be a better day today, but yeah, well, no matter what, we shall be able to make it home tonight. So, uh, I guess we'll see. I'm thinking around, uh, well, if I don't make no more stops, GPS says quarter to eight, I should be home. But, uh, I think I'm going to make me a stop in uh, Grand Forks, North Dakota. Probably run in and grab me a Subway sandwich and, and then get on my way home. Yeah. Well, hopefully we won't have any delays at the, at the border. I'm really worried about this load because uh, it's the first time I've ever done this load. And uh, it's for a different company. Speed limit and understand. they clear all their stuff. So I have no way of knowing of if this stuff is cleared. They said it's supposed to be, but what does that mean? Supposed to be. I have no idea. <laughs> it doesn't mean that they are sure it's cleared. It just they're saying it's supposed to be. Oh well. I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. That's the only thing that we can really do. I guess go to the border and find out. That's about it. But anyways, let's get on down the road and uh, hope for the best. Well, well, well guys, look at this. Well, I don't know if you can tell, but uh, we are now in Manitoba. That is right. Yeah, it was actually a pretty easy border crossing. I have no complaints about it. Yeah, first time I ever done this and everything was uh, was good to go. It was lined up perfect. So we were uh, we were happy. And they were happy too, I guess. <laughs> That's all I can say. They gave me the A-OK -okay to clear. And as soon as we cleared the border, we had to call in and uh, let uh, Conway know that our uh, load was cleared. And what we did, I told him everything uh, we cleared, and my name and all that good stuff. And uh, we were on our merry way. Yeah, so here we are. We got about an hour and 15 minutes till we get home. We just basically just left the border, so we uh, we have 103 kilometers to go, and then we'll be in Steinbach. That's right. I know today is a bit of a short day, but uh, hey, it's better than not having a video at all, isn't it? I haven't recorded anything for yesterday, so uh, I don't know if I'll get around to it there before I leave to go to Louisville or not, but. Hopefully I can. Hopefully I can. That's right. And if not, oh well. Next week Friday I'm going to be at the truck show. So uh, maybe I'll just do a little live show over there or something. I don't know exactly what we're going to do. But we're going to attempt something. I'm going to try and put something in place for yesterday's video supposed to be there I try to have a video every day but lately I've been kind of I guess you could say getting lazy about having a video every day and that's not good I don't like it that way 
I know some of you might say, you know, it's okay to miss a day here and there, but I really pride myself in having a video every day. And it's really high on my priority list, you know, to try and have at least something. It, no matter if it's three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, at least something, you know. But anyways, we'll put the hammer down here and uh, we'll get home looks like today that's fantastic that's what I was hoping for all along right to be able to be uh, making it home here today sun will probably be done will have gone down by the time I get home but that's okay as long as we get home today that's all that matters right behind me that day is gonna come